In this tutorial, we will cover completing vertebrate animal form 5A. There are two vertebrate animal forms, 5A and 5B. 5A is required for all research involving vertebrate animals that is conducted in a school, home, or field research site, whereas vertebrate animal form 5B is for institutional or industrial settings only. So let's begin with form 5A. Starts off with student name, and the title of the project. The student researcher must complete question one and just enter in the common name, genus and species, and the number of animals used. Under number two, the student researcher should describe completely the housing and husbandry to be provided, including the cage, pen, size, number of animals per cage, environment, bedding, type of food, frequency of food and water, and how often the animal is observed. Please bear in mind that according to Massachusetts state law, no vertebrate animal can be subject to duress and no vertebrate animals can be sacrificed or killed for student research. Because the conditions for maintaining animals are critical, experiments involving small, common laboratory animals, for example, mice, rats, hamsters, guinea pigs, gerbils, and rabbits are only allowed in institutional settings or school settings. Only if environmental housing and husbandry standards are maintained will this be permitted. Animals cannot be kept in the student's home. However, non-invasive observational studies and behavioral studies involving pets, including fish and livestock, may be conducted at home. And that's what vertebrate animal form 5A is for. Moving down to section 3. This is where the student would list what would happen to the animal after exp experimentation. For example, after the behavioral study is completed, the dog or cat would continue to be the student's pet. Down here applies more to field studies, and this is where we would attach a copy of wildlife licenses or approval forms as applicable. Under number five, the ISAF MSSEF vertebrate animal rules require that any death, illness, or unexpected weight loss be investigated and documented by a letter from a qualified scientist, designated supervisor, or veterinarian. If applicable, attach the letter with this form when submitting the paperwork to the SRC prior to competition. Any project involving a vertebrate animal, whether it is at home or whether it's an ind industrial setting or institutional setting, must have prior approval by the Scientific Review Committee. This portion down here is where the Scientific Review Committee will review the research plan and the proposal, and this form will then be signed by appropriate entities such as the veterinarian. Any questions you might have about your student's project and their use of vertebrate animals should be directed to the Boston Public School Science Department prior to December 18th. 